Here is the latest from K2 Radio News. Concerned citizens will gather tonight to talk about their concerns about a planned gravel pit that could be installed near Squaw Creek just off of Coates Road. The meeting is scheduled for 6 p.m. at the Agriculture Resource and Learning Center located at 2011 Fairgrounds Road. County told senators that the DCI Crime Lab has raised concerns about the state law on possession of controlled substances. Current law deals with substances in liquid, plant, powdered, and pill, capsule, or cocaine-based from among others. But the problem is that certain drugs don't fit any of those categories, creating a problem for the crime lab when trying to classify the drug, which in turn makes it harder to prosecute cases. That can come into play when a substance such as black tar heroin is in question or food substances like pot edibles. Senator Tara Nethercott vocalized that most of the country has legalized edibles and most notably the states all around Wyoming. She went on to say a pan of brownies or a dozen cookies bought 20 miles away. Will that person who went down from college and back become a felon in this state because of this law? The bill had previously breezed through the House by a vote of 57 to 5. Wyoming search and rescue personnel say that they conduct an average of more than 300 missions annually across the state for those who become lost or stranded. The most common missions involve searches for people who are hunting, hiking, snowmobiling, skiing and snowboarding, or they were motor vehicle related. Although several of the people rescued were from out of state, a high number of them were Wyoming residents. You may start to see new B-307 AWARE signs up around Natrona County. These signs are a reminder of the uh, B-307 AWARE program here in Wyoming. If Search and Rescue is looking for you, they may be able to reach you directly on commercially available handheld radios. The program also allows lost individuals with these radios to turn to Channel 3 and Privacy Code 07 for help from first responders. Search and rescue teams will attempt to contact you there and work to get to you faster. These types of radios are often carried by the public to talk with each other while recreating in the outdoors. Consider adding one to your pack if you don't already have one. According to Natrona County Emergency Management, another option to increase your chances of staying safe and being rescued if necessary is the free Backcountry SOS app. It works on your Apple or Android phone and allows you to text 911 in areas where you can't make a phone call. When you send the text, your GPS location will be shared to emergency and rescue crews. Currently, five Wyoming counties have the program available. We do have a link if you'd like to download that app on your phone for your next Backcountry adventure. And on that note, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department has already announced the dates for their family, youth, and women's summer camps. The registration deadline for any of them will be May 15th. In June, they have an adventure family camp. It's a four-day overnight experience for family groups to build confidence in their outdoor skills. They will also be having a fishing family camp just a couple weeks after that. And attendees will have the chance to learn the basics of fly fishing and spin casting through hands-on fishing trips. Uh, In July, they're going to do a hunter education family camp, enabling families to enjoy the outdoors, be together while incorporating a hunter and bow hunter education curriculum. They're going to have separate boys and girls youth camps. Those will be in June and July and three becoming an outdoors woman camps. um, And that will be in June, July and August. If you are interested, you can get all the specifics at k2radio.com. We've got links up as well. And finally, big congratulations to the Casper Oilers for their third place win over Cheyenne Capitals in the 2024 Wyoming Athletics Hockey League A Division State Championships. They competed on February 25th in Gillette, Wyoming. Reporting from Casper, this is Colby Fedor.